RCBS Ultrasonic Cleaner. Uh, ultrasonic cleaners are nothing brand new, but they are kind of new technology when it comes to uh, reloading because the traditional cleaning method for brass and different stuff is to throw them in a tumbler, uh, wet or dry, whereas now ultrasonic cleaners are starting to be more widely used and some of the reloading companies such as RCBS, Hornaday and whatnot, have decided to come out with their own branded uh, cleaners. So today we're looking at the RCBS model. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over brief how I use it, uh, what I like, what I don't like, and the results I've gotten. Now when I clean brass, now I've mostly done 44 mag, 44 special for the past few months that I've been using it, but brass is brass, so I figured it would be a good example. Um, when I use it, I use a solution of Lemmy Shine, uh, like a pinch of Lemmy Shine, and then a good squirt of Dawn Dish Soap. I know that's not real technical, but it's a known recipe that you can easily get on the um, internet. So the RCBS does make specific uh, case cleaning solutions and stuff. I hear they work just as good as the home brews. So if that's, you know, that's depending upon what you want to do, uh, I'm sure both work, but that's the solution I use. So what I do is I put the, the brass in for 20 minutes. I do 10 minutes with the heater on, uh, give them a good shake, and then do another 20 minutes. And the results I get are this. Now, these have all been done and they've all been dried. And they don't necessarily get polished, but the Lemmy Shine does kind of well, give them, a, I guess you'd say, a shine. And you'll notice the one place I find it really effective is in the primer pockets. I don't know how well that shows up, if that focuses. But you'll see that the primer pockets are really clean. And the other thing that's nice is if you look down in the casing, You'll see the reflection of the uh, brass. The down in the casing gets clean. So I've been doing that same mixture now for a few months, and I've had really good results with that. Um, every once in a while, I might get one that, and I don't know how well it shows up, but you can see there's a little bit of gunk in the primer pocket, but um, not nearly as bad as I've seen with some of the other methods. I know the primer pockets usually one of the harder spots to get clean when you're cleaning your brass. So I've had really good results. Um, I have heard of some people having issues with ultrasonic cleaners. I've heard of people who I've read reviews where they hate them, they can't get them to work, so on and so forth. And I've noticed two major things. If you're looking to use an ultrasonic cleaner for just about anything, but we're mainly talking about brass today, uh, there's two things that are important. One, I highly recommend you use distilled water. It doesn't have as much uh, the minerals and stuff in it that uh, make it harder for the cleaner to work. And the other thing is uh, these things come with degas uh, modes for a reason. And what degassing does is it gets the dissolved gases and stuff that's in the water naturally. It allows for them to be broken up and removed before you start cleaning brass. So usually what I'll do is, and I will show, uh, they went over, it doesn't matter. So the nice thing about this thing is, um, what you can do is you have your basket here. Usually what I'll do to start out is I will fill it with water and there's a minimum maximum line. And I will add my dish soap. And usually it's a, you know, like I said, squirt of dish soap in my, um, let me shine and I'll set it to degas. So it degasses for two minutes. Once that happens, I usually will place this in and then pour my brass in. Reason being, um, cause I, I, you don't want the water to go above the max line. So I'll just add brass as needed. Usually I fill it to right above the minimum line and then the add the brass until it's up above or right below the max line. Um, as far as how many casings it does, I know that uh, it's kind of hard to tell because every every case is a different size. But I think I can do at least 244 mag cases at a time, maybe a few more. 
Um, I haven't done that many at a time just because I haven't had that many to do at a time, but I could easily say you could fit 200 in at a time. And the nice thing is if you pack them in real tight because it's because as long as the water can get to them, it's, it, it still pretty much works. I mean, I have noticed, I think if you pack it real solid, you might get a little less cleaning action. Might have to put it in for a little more time. But for the most part, that doesn't affect it. Um, what sets the RCBS apart is some of the features. Now, I'll go over some of the basic features. You've got, you know, like uh, your on-off button timer button heater button which is nice you can select whether or not you want the uh, heater on and you've got function you can switch it from degas to regular cleaning which is nice because if for some reason you need to change your fluid you can just set that change it to degas it'll automatically do a uh, two minute degas cycle and then go to regular cleaning timer you can set the timer for just about anything you want uh, I usually do 10 minutes at a time you can set your temp uh, I usually do it at like 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the warm water definitely helps. I've noticed, uh, you know, like with everything else, cold water doesn't clean as well as warm water. But so it's got a nice uh, amount of features on it. You know, I know some of like the uh, cheaper ones from different companies are pretty basic and standard where this, this one really has a lot of nice features. But so what, once you set it, and it comes with this nice cover so that you don't have to worry about uh, stuff flopping around. And yes, you can see there's condensation on the top there from I just got done using it to clean that brass. But uh, I really like it. It's got a lot of nice features. And one of the real standout features, and there's not many, there's not many brass or ultrasonic cleaners I've seen had this is on the side here I don't know how well I guess I can fill it up to show you guys but on the side here you'll notice there's this this is drain valve this is very very useful uh, I can't stress enough how nice it is having that drain valve because with a lot of the ultrasonic cleaners on the market what happens is when you're done with it and you want to drain your fluid or change your fluid what you have to do is you have to take lid off take the basket and everything out and you have to tip it up and out to wherever you're dumping it whereas with this um, all you have to do is it comes with a hose which is nice nice long hose and you attach it to this and you can set it up with a gallon jug whatever container you want to uh, pour the water into it makes it a lot easier. That way, you don't have to worry about, I've heard of some people when they go to tip up and drain their ultrasonic cleaner, you know, it gets onto the electronics, it gets into stuff, and it ruins it. And I have heard of that happen a couple occasions. With this, you don't have to worry about that because you can just drain it. So that's one of the really nice features I like about it. That's probably my favorite feature and what really sold me on this one. Because I know Hornaday and uh, a couple other um, reloading companies have made ultrasonic cleaners. But this one really stood out to me with having the ability to drain it without having to ca try and carry a cleaner full of water over to somewhere to dump it. Because I only imagined how annoying that would be. Uh, I guess one of the few things I don't like about it um, is... Sometimes some of these buttons, like the icons, can be a little confusing. Like the uh, what's a good thing? The uh, like the fluid, the fluid icon. It kind of looks like a battery or a, a spray bottle or something. So I had to look in the manual, which the manual it comes with does explain all of that. So it's not really an issue with the machine. It's just I do wish maybe it was words instead of icons. But it's, you know, you get used to it after a while. Not that big a deal. Just something I, I wish it was words instead of icons. Just for the sake of simplicity when you're setting it up ready to go. You don't have to be like, oh, well, what does that icon mean? Or what does the little circles with the uh, things on the side mean? But other than that, I really like it. I highly recommend this. 
especially for somebody, if you're in an apartment, um, I'm in a small apartment, and one of the big things that I had to worry about was the standard tumbler can be pretty loud. Plus, I didn't really want a tumbler that was going to kick up dust and lead and debris and stuff all over, and uh, then have to explain to my downstairs neighbors why they heard what basically sounded like a washing machine or a dryer running for three or four hours at a time cleaning brass. With this, it's all self-contained in here and you just drain out the gunk and water and then usually what I do is I'll uh, run some, rinse some water through it. As you can see, it's bright and shiny and clean down there and it's been used to clean several hundred casings over the couple months I've been using it because it cleans out real nice and can be stored away till next time. So uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more reloading reviews and stuff like that as time goes on and I get further into reloading. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them and have a good day.